Alright guys, it's me again. I guess he's with me. I think I'm trying to get him to come in a little bit more, but let them know what we're here to talk about. I'm going to go ahead and take my coffee cup out. Uh, this weekend, this past weekend, me and my lovely wife, hey, went to a, um, a thriving marriage retreat. And isn't this cute? And I, oh, I, I need to go get the blanket but to show okay. them. Okay. It's okay. It's like a, a hunter green blanket and it's actually pretty big. I mean, it was, just keep in mind, everything that we're about to talk to you about was totally free. We did not have to pay for anything. Yeah, we didn't have to pay for anything. We got a overnight stay at the Embassy Maybe Suites. Suites. And that was like the place was actually forty five minute forty minutes from where we live, so it's not really that far. A little bit further than I would drive to go to work. So I would let my husband kind of. Uh, first of all, they put us on the ninth floor. Uh, beautiful view of where we were at. We had saw everything, so we had the window open. Not the actually the window open, but the blind open as far as we can actually see out through, you know, where we were at and everything. Good, good view. But it wasn't a good view looking down. Um, it was just kind of nerve wracking. And if you guys ever been in the elevator where there's a see through glass on the other end, it's very nauseating knowing the fact that you're going up and down. Up well, we're and here down. to talk about the actual thing and what we got out of it. But the whole event itself was very worth it. I was kind of skeptical about it at first. He actually tried to get out of it. I and tried to get actually, out of it. A lot of husbands don't really like this kind of stuff. It, it just. But for me, I see it as an investment in what we're trying to build. We're trying to build a strong marriage. We have that. But anything that's going to help bring us closer, anything that's going to help us communicate better, anything that's going to remind us of things that we already know. And we actually ended up learning. Mm -hmm. He learned some things about me yeah. this time. And, I mean, we've been to some things where we've gotten the same information, but this one was, like, a little bit more detailed. Because mm -hmm. the other things we went to was just for one day. It was just for a Saturday. It was, like, an all-day thing. But this was an all-day Saturday and an all-day Sunday. Sunday. yeah. So, we can, you want to kind of just go over, like, the agenda yeah, of, like, what happened? Agenda. Let's see. I'll get the agenda out. This was our little agenda. And has the dates and like this really cute little packaging and so basically I'm just going to sit it down but um we had the introduction so when we got there we were greeted warmly and we um got our name badges mm -hmm. we got um some breakfast yeah. they had like some well, they gave us well, was good, like, they gave us dinner and then we're talking about the very beginning now like when we, oh, yeah, we right. got we there. Yeah. yeah, we got there. We had like they had like assorted muffins right. and you know, just I mean really good stuff. They had like some little sandwiches and various juices. They had I think orange juice, apple juice, um, coffee, tea. They had hot water if you wanted to make your own tea, and then they had water, of course. Yeah. And it was great. I mean, I thought it was a good start. At, you know, just kind of... Because they said it was going to be light, and I thought it was quite a, quite a bit of food. So, you know, just for the beginning. And they had some fruit. So we have um, a thing that was called the Enriched Couples Inventory, and that's where we actually learned the most. Um, we, Like I said, some of the information we had already gotten... Um, from the previous event mm -hmm. that we went to, but this was the actual retreat where we could kind of go into things a little bit more in depth. So we did like this questionnaire that had like a hundred and something questions on it. So we had like so much time to do it. Ended up finding out because we had an assessment, um, had an assessment meeting meet type thing today, the next, yeah. yeah. So like we did that part on Saturday. We came and got our results on Sunday. today. And we did find out a lot about each other. He found out a lot more about my upbringing that, there's things that trigger me and how I kind of even interact with his mother. And then also, we found out that we're like pretty much right there together when it comes to how our relationship is now. Our mm -hmm. relationships when we were growing up were just like parallel with each other. Um, but then when we got up there, ours are actually like they were together. And so... The lady, she even said, she's like, she's not worried about that. Like, we had very strong, like, um, the same upbringing or, like, religious views and everything from now. And then she said, you know, it's kind of a red flag when they see someone who may be their partners down here and then their way. So they're, like, you know, separate, on separate ends of the spectrum. But she was very touched by us. You could tell that she was very pleased to meet us. She said that it was a joy working with us. And that was a good part of it. Mm -hmm. 
So like I said, we're not really going to touch on all the other stuff. It was just kind of like communication building things. He got up a lot because he had a lot to say and he wanted to really interact and he had some really sweet things to say. But it just, you know, that was almost a testament to me because in the past I normally like stay quiet. Throughout He's any kind of event. not quiet. No, I was saying back in the day, I used to be like not the one who would go up there and start talking about things. Now that I got the confidence because I'm with her and I can actually say, hey, I got something to say and, you know, actually take part and, you know, be the spokesperson of the group. And he, he did. He sat right up there. He had so many sweet things to say. And um, even when we did like the little exercise at the end, he said, the two things, because we were talking about X, Y, and Z statements, and he said how, you know, he liked my eyes, he loved that I was strong-minded, I stood up to his mom, which I didn't know he looked up to that, Mm -hmm. and there was just a lot of things that I learned that, you know, he really appreciates about me. We did the primary colors, and um, if you guys are familiar with that, it's a relationship tool that you can use, and you kind of rate things and see kind of what color you are, and the thing that about mine is the red it's very strong minded and that's actually something that he ended up saying that he's attracted to me with and so you know he has many strengths and we just we love working on our relationship you know like I said we had various meals we had like a a sweetheart banquet the Saturday night and that was really cool they had like you could dress up and so we were dressed Mm. really nice and they had a DJ come in they played the newlywed game and um, they had a DJ and they had a lady that took pictures. And did we bring our picture in? Uh, oh, it's still it's in that compartment in your truck. Yeah. So, anyways, we would have to like probably insert a picture or show you guys later. I don't have it on my phone. But oh yeah, pull up. He's gonna pull it up on his phone while I have a little bit more. But it was really sweet, you guys. We took a really good picture. We didn't have to do that many takes. I think she took two pictures of us. Some people she had to take uh, even a bunch more. And this is a picture. That, um, if you guys can see that, I know there's a glare, um, just because, you know, it's a camera with another camera. There, it's a little bit better. But as you can see, that's us, two amigos, and we love each other. I mean, we always, like I said, anytime that I get an opportunity to spend the whole weekend with this man right here, and I actually get to strengthen what is already strong, I go for it. And the fact that... We got an overnight stay at a beautiful hotel that we got to experience some things and meet some new people that we got to love on each other, that we got to express ourselves to each other, that we got to just cut up with each other and have Mm -hmm. fun and kick back and just really just change the scenery and get away. It was actually good that it was 45 minutes away, 40, 45 minutes, because we got to go to a different place where we had never really spent any quality time. We've been through this town. But now we're listening to quality time. And just like I said, it, it just was a beautiful, beautiful exercise. Um, we got some information on finances and setting budgets. And here's our enriched stuff. And so we're not going to go into all of that. But just know that we had a great time. They gave us this cute little bag. And like I said, we got like a flannel um And go look them up on Facebook just in case, you, you know, you guys are in a relationship or... You know, and I kind of need some tips in here. Yeah, the, pro- the the page is called Thriving Marriages. So, definitely go check it out. They have a lot of free um, activities, a lot of free information. They have different workshops, not just about finances. They have um, overnight ones about different topics. Um, step parents, the lady there, she does one on step parents as well. And, you know, we just were really, really, like I said, he was hesitant. But when, at the end of it, I even asked him, you know, was it that bad? How did he feel? And he actually... He enjoyed it the most. I mean, I think he had just as much fun as I did or anyone had. And it is. Like the guy, the one of the facilitators said, it's what you make it. Mm-hmm. You make it. You decide if it's going to be fun. If you're going to be fun with it and you're going to be open to it and be, you know. And that's with anything in life. If you're going to be open to it and you're going to take the time to go through it, make it fun. Because you're the person that's going to make it fun. You're the person that's going to mess it up if, if it's going to be a mess up time. So take it, you know. Like I said, I love spending time with him. I think he loves spending time with me, and no, I couldn't ask for anything more. I love spending time with her. I don't think I know I love spending time with her. Well, I love spending time with you, too. And on that note, we'll probably kiss and just go. Yeah, because we got a Monopoly game that we got to get to, so.
I'm trying to keep a PG for you for right now, so. For right now. So for right now. But I got to go get off here and kick her butt in Monopoly before we go to bed, so. For me. See you guys later. Bye. He won one game to my three.